to me! Quit playing around and I'm you! You're back! Hey! Hey! Hey. So... Did you, uh, find what you were looking for out there? Yeah, I got all the answers that I needed and more. That's awesome, man! So when are we launching this comeback? I have so many ideas! Like, first of all, the new rules are bullshit! Oh my gosh, and then there's still the problem of- There won't be a comeback this time, Eugene. <laughs> what? It's, um, it's a lot to explain. What about all your stuff? Um, I'll actually still be keeping most of it. What about your kid? <laughs> He's fine with his grandfather. Yeah, that's another thing. What are mom and dad gonna think of you not doing Yu-Gi-Oh anymore? If you don't remember who our parents are, they're literally the Egyptian gods of the game. They'll understand. They'll understand. So what are you gonna do for your fans? Now that is what I need your help with, Eugene, because I need help making, I guess you can call it kind of a transition, because what I have planned for the channel is not this time. Wait, why not? Because you know now. <laughs> I know what? You know that Yu-Gi-Oh isn't forever, and you came to that conclusion on your own. Well, right, but I'm gonna keep most of my stuff, like I said, and I'll still play goats and stuff with you. I mean, I'm not like fully quitting. I'm still gonna play with you, man. No. No, we can't. Wait, wait a minute, why not? Because I'm in your head, and none of this has been real. I usually speak freely from the top of my head on this channel, but today I have prepared a speech for you guys. You can't be a kid forever. As much as I have tried to stay interested in the game, my heart is no longer in the cards. As much as I have loved this game in the past, and as much as I love being Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus, I can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! forever, and I can't play a character forever. Those who know me the best know how much of a double life that I have been living. And that's because even though my love for Yu-Gi-Oh! has been there since I was a kid, and even though I still have some nostalgia left of it, it hasn't been my thing for quite a long time, actually. Longer than you think, longer than a year. And maybe even longer than that, now that I've really thought about it. It has been a very long time since I went to a tournament to play, and not just to pay a visit to my wonderful fans because I do love my fans. And because I love my fans, I tried to fake it till I made it, just kicking the can down the road until a deck or something came along that would pull me back in and get me right back on track. But it's hard to stay on track and get re-motivated when you are only allotting yourself tiny pieces of time to be the character that you play and make content. My videos were all made with less and less time as I went along not just because I got fast at editing, but because I would only allow myself brief periods of time to film and edit. This also has been going on for a very long time. All my friends that I've played with in the past are all far away from me now as well, both in worldly distance and in my thoughts, because my many other interests have grown to eclipse Yu-Gi-Oh! in my mind and in my life. Everyone grows up. I feel like Peter Pan if he ever got tired of Neverland, the thing he loved the most and got other people to come to, only to later realize that it wasn't what truly suited him after all. This channel is a dream that was never realized to the extent of my vision for it, and that is something that I have struggled to, t to come to terms with. I've had the strong urge to finish what I've started, and that's why it has been so frustrating to me not having the motivation to do it. I look around at all the amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! products that I own, and that a lot of my fans have sent to me, and I think to myself, years ago, Tyler, you would have killed for this setup. You would have just, you would have,
you would have destroyed people over this game and what you wanted to accomplish with it. You had so much fire in your belly that people were intimidated by you for just that alone. But that flame in me has spread to other forests of interest and has caused more fires to burn bright within me. And for that, I am thankful. To you, Gio, I am thankful. But mostly to you, I am thankful. I have come to peace with outgrowing Yu-Gi-Oh! And I have come to peace with leaving the Yugi no no project unfinished. Yu-Gi-Oh! brought out the kid in me, and that kid has grown up with the rest of me. And that's exactly how I feel, guys. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! has given me some great memories and even some great skills. Like, my, like I comprehend card games differently now. Like, my family doesn't... I mean, they'll still play me at Skipbo and poker and stuff, but they don't like to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, 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 it makes you think differently, you know? It really does. Like, um, I never got bothered by people thinking that I was bad or anything, because I knew... I, I, I was bad at the game because, you know, I got bad at the game because I didn't learn the new product. I, I lost interest in it a long time ago. I fully understand how the game works. And, uh, and that's my own fault. I just... it's Well, maybe it's not even my own fault. I just... There was just a day, at some point in time, guys, that flame of Yu-Gi-Oh! in me left and spread to another part of the forest, and that's the only way I could think of to describe it to you. Yu-Gi-Oh! helped me figure out that I can act, which is something that I never would have thought of doing before, and that's, I, I thought of, I figured out acting, I could act because I didn't have anybody to make Yu-Gi-Oh! videos with, so I had to start playing myself. You know, I, I've created characters because I didn't have a partner or anything, you know, or anybody to practice with or anything. Um, and it worked out great. It worked out great. I have no regrets. I mean, I, I, I have no regrets. I love playing characters and stuff, and I'm glad that I figured out that I know how to act. And you guys might be a little distraught to learn that Yugi no no has been a character, but you have to know that I haven't been lying to you guys. I truly do, I truly do love you and Yu-Gi-Oh! I do. When I'm in no-no mode, as I call it, or when I get into character, I think really hard about me being a kid watching the TV show in my room. That's, that's kind of like my happy place when I think about Yu-Gi-Oh! and I want to get amped about it, you know? Like when I get that nostalgia flame going, so to speak. And I channel those nostalgic feelings, and that's what creates the hype when I make Yu-Gi-Oh! content. In other words, I kind of channel a younger version of myself when I'm Yu-Gi-Oh! No -No. And that's really the most accurate way I could put it. Just like when I play Eugene, I'm channeling all of the Yu-Gi-Oh! dorks out there. <laughs> I think of all the socially awkward people that I have met, and I combine that in my head with nerdy stereotypes, <laughs> and that's what brings Eugene to life. Eugene! <laughs> you know, that's what really what does it. Um, it's also been fun keeping up the act that I'm two different people. You guys have all been great sports. It's been a lot of fun. So you guys may not actually know me completely, but you know parts of me through my characters. But that's about to change. Now, I have some announcements. Here's... I made it through that part of the video. Alright, here's the better part. <laughs> here's like the, the happier part. I promise it's the happier part. Now I have some announcements. Because this won't be my last Yu-Gi-Oh! video. This is why I said to watch it till the end. This won't be my last Yu-Gi-Oh! video. And this won't be my last video on YouTube. So here are my announcements. First and foremost, the channel will be changed so that I no will no longer just be a Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. I will still make Yu-Gi-Oh! content in the future because there are genuinely still ideas that I want to bring to life. And there are ideas that I, I mean, I have more Yu-Gi-Oh! ideas than I know what to do with. You guys know that I've watched my fan mail and stuff. Like, I have, like, I literally, like, that, that my to-do list that I, that I keep telling you guys about, it does exist. And it's, like, in three different parts. One, like, there's the to-do list on my laptop, my desktop, and my phone. Between the three of them, there's enough Yu-Gi-Oh! ideas for content to last, like, five years or something. <laughs> like, it's, it's ridiculous, you know? Um, it's just I don't have any, you know, any motivation to do it except for maybe, like, you know, the, the best ideas. The best ideas I still have some kind of drive to do, and I will probably make those eventually. I'm just going to essentially be me from here on out, and YouTube will return to be more of a hobby for me as it was originally intended. In other words, 
um, when I do make content now, um, it's going to be more spaced out unless I really get into it. Um, and I, uh, I'm going to get to more of that here in a second. I have some really great comedy skits, and not just Yu-Gi-Oh! Com comedy skits, but just skits for everybody scripted that I want to make and get out there for everybody. I also want to talk about music and movies and just literally all of my other interests that I haven't been able to make content on because I have been a Yu-Gi-Oh! brand, and that is how I feel. Like, I, I have just been a Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, and I, I've had to keep all of my other interests outside of that, you know? And um, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of it, and I'm tired of Yu-Gi-Oh, quite frankly. So things are going to be changing, and um, I, you just got, you guys just need to understand that. Don't worry though. All of the, all of my current videos will remain and will be thrown into a playlist whenever I get the time to continue with YouTube and rebrand the channel. You will always be able to watch the videos that you love from me. I promise you will be able to, one way or another, because I know you guys like my content. And I appreciate that. Secondly, my Facebook page will be passed down to my meme goons. I forgot that I wrote down meme goons. <laughs> to my meme goons, Robert, Till, and Theo. I have become really good friends with those guys. And they have made some of the funniest Yu-Gi-Oh! content I have ever seen from my Facebook page. And I promised them if I decided to leave the game, that I would give them the account so that they can have a head start on a Yu-Gi-Oh! meme page and do the things that they love doing, which are playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and making fun of it. So my promise is kept. My Facebook page will become theirs. And you guys should really check it out because they 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 make funnier the funniest Yu-Gi-Oh memes on Facebook by far. Like I mean, and I'm not just being biased. Like I, I follow all kinds of you know Yu-Gi-Oh meme pages and stuff to get the laughs, and they make better stuff. than uh, it's not just because they're my friends. If you need to get a hold of me from here on out, it will be Twitter and email. And all of that stuff is down in the description as always. To go along with all that, my personal business page that I have been doing, uh, that I have more of an interest of doing. I'm still doing videography and video editing and stuff. I'm doing it in a different way. I'm doing it in a more adult and practical way. Um, I, I have a videography business. I film bands, I film weddings, I do that kind of stuff. The link to that is down in the description if you guys wanna check it out and give me some of your business. That would be very much appreciated. And I, you guys have seen some of the work I do on YouTube. My work outside of YouTube is actually a lot crisper because here's how much I know how to do in Adobe Premiere and After Effects and here's how much I use for my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel like I'm not even kidding like it's the Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't really call for that much it, it really doesn't like I mean you can vlog and stuff on you know and do Yu-Gi-Oh content it does it's not exactly rocket science you know what I mean and the third announcement there will be no more fan mail until further notice and I mean no more until further notice seriously when I get some new videos under my belt in the future we can start that back up again and you can write me because I actually did like that a lot I really did, believe it or not. I really did like that a lot. So maybe in the future when I get, you know, a, a different kind of channel going, doing the things that I want to do and I'm just being me, um, when I switch this channel over, um, we'll probably get the, the, you know, we'll probably get this all started up. I'm sorry I'm being so somber. It's just, it's uh, like, I'm, I'm happy. I really, really am. It's just... This is a goodbye that I never thought that I would be doing in the past. So this is, this is hard for me. This is really hard for me too, guys. Trust me. And I think that covers everything. Thank you all so much again for your love and support. And I really mean that. Thank you all. Be on the lookout for the resurrection, I guess we will call it. <laughs> because I look forward to making, making the future content that I have planned. And I know that you will all love it. Until then, though, you guys know what to do. Dick slap that like button and subscribe. Subscribe!